So we're gonna be going over some basic eye exercises. These are exercises that are great to start with. They are basically looking at a convergence insufficiency where you're trying to look inward with your eyes and there's uh, some eye muscle strain, uh, some disconnect between the eyes. So convergence, convergence, divergence. This is a way to potentially replace the Brock string and do something uh, more readily available and it's through using a Sharpie and putting a dot on your thumbnail. Now this dot is gonna be fairly small, but it's basically the size of your fovea. Now the harder part is in putting a dot on your non, or on your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand, okay? So we've got a dot going on. I like a circle because that gives you an edge that if your circle is getting fuzzy, um, or if it's getting, um, you're getting a, a double dot, we know that your eyes are not working together. We want to have and see a clear image. So what's going to happen is that when you focus on this dot, okay, your eyes are looking at, uh, they basically have two images going on all the time. So when you, when you close your eyes back and forth, uh, I'm seeing you move back and forth a little bit. So there's, there's two images and then your brain takes those two images and fuses, takes both that information uh, of both eyes and fuses it in the brain, okay? Uh, the more your eyes are pulled apart or if they're not working together, what happens is, is that that acuity gets reduced and it's more difficult, requires more processing of your brain to make that happen. And so exercises that help work on control and how your eyes are working together can be helpful in addition to the hands-on work that we're doing here at Cornerstone, okay? So let's look at that. We have our dots that are very small. You only wanna have one small dot that is basically um, creating something that we can focus on. Now, the first is, is focusing on that dot and as you get closer, find out where it starts going fuzzy. So for me, it's here. I actually have some muscle trigger points in, in the left eye. They're definitely better, but I do have a bit of a difficulty when I bring that thumb inward, trying to focus and look inward, okay? So that is one exercise. Now, once you get it to that point, you can hold that and then even add in some gentle head turning or up and down movement, okay? So that is working on convergence. Now, let's say we wanted to work on con convergence, which is bringing your eyes in, and then divergence, which is allowing them to move outward from each other, but in a controlled manner. So we want this looking in, looking out, looking in, looking out, okay? Sometimes there's a lag on one side and, our, and one eye is lagging behind. We're gonna use this, two thumbs now, focusing out on the farther dot, focusing in. Focusing out, focusing in. Making sure that that circle is nice and clear, okay? So that is the convergent component, bringing in and out, and then a convergence divergence, okay? Next, we're gonna be talking about eye stretching with the thumb dot, okay? When we do that, we wanna cover one eye, and we're gonna follow that dot with our eye. Now, when that dot becomes less clear, that means that my thumb has moved away from the fovea of that eye, and we're not, that the, the clear part that we see, that, that small area of acuity or, or where things are, are clear, that thumb dot is off of that, okay? So you wanna make sure that this thumb dot stays clear when you're doing eye stretching. The other thing that'll happen is that you'll just move your head with the thumb and you really want to use your hand to cover your eye and keep your head stable, okay? So thumb, and we're doing about 18 inches away and right about there is my acuity over here. And then I, you can start pushing it and, and doing almost like repetitions like you're lifting weights, okay? Up, down, you're gonna find, oh, right over there, that's difficult for me to do and I'm gonna try different areas within that and find out where it's harder for me, okay? So if there's a part where it's, man, I can't get that thumb in that range, that's what you work on and you're gonna be stretching those eye muscles uh, to try and control and move that eye in that direction, okay? It's stretching with sort of exercising the muscles at the same time, okay? And then switch 
do the other side and do that, okay? A progression when you're looking at doing any sort of um, movement and, and sort of slow pursuit eye tracking up and down, okay? So when we're doing that, just following, you can then as you're doing that, turn your head a little bit to the right while that goes to the left and back and forth, okay? And this is more of a kind of a coordination of the head. This is now working your VOR, vestibulo-ocular reflex, okay? And then we're looking at looking up, looking down while your thumb does this. We call this two times. Again, we want the thumb dot versus just the thumb because we want something that we can focus on versus the thumb. Thumb is, is too indistinct. We're just gonna track the impression of it and we really want the dot for doing this okay and then you can look at obliques for this up and down okay so these are a bunch of exercises that are great to do all with the thumb dot when you do these exercises you're doing them for about a minute or two minutes at a time and throughout the day if you can do it once a day great twice a day even better uh, Try and keep a Sharpie with you. I've had some clients come in uh, that have put nail polish on their thumbs and a clear coat over top and now they're, they're set, ready to go. Um, having that thumb dot there is also a reminder. Uh, keep that Sharpie with you so that it's something that you go, oh, hey, I can crank out some exercises. I'm at a light, okay? Or if you're just there with the hands on the steering wheel, you can crank out a couple exercises, do a little bit of these sort of eye push-ups to work on convergence. Okay, so this is the, the string of events. We have eye stretching, convergence, convergence divergence, and then we're looking at slow pursuit and that VOR. Okay, four exercises all together that we'll get you started with.